that may have been a little dramatic, but that is exactly how I feel. And I feel like as an adult, it's okay to say exactly how you feel to every other adult in your life and it be okay. Your feelings are your feelings and your feelings are valid, you know? Because this man eats like a construction worker. So, <laughs> am I gonna cut that out? <laughs> So guys, the other night my sister and I got into like a little scuffle, if you will, verbal scuffle. And it really left me in my feelings. I was feeling some type of way and I feel like I should address it because I still am feeling the way how I feel. So I'm going to send her a voice message. So I said everything that I wanted to say exactly how I wanted to say it. But um, you know, I feel like I've always been able to open up to you and to say anything to you and never left the conversation feeling judged. And I don't know if you've, you've had the same experience, but that's what I love about the relationship that we have. We're able to be honest with each other and it doesn't feel like judgment. We've created a safe space and I value that more than anything else in this world, right? However, I feel like last night, I left the conversation feeling very defeated and just mentally fucked up because I felt like this was the first time I've ever experienced judgment from you. You know, I feel like I'm here and I'm trying to do the best that I can, the best way I know how considering and um even if that does mean that you know i'm overcompensating for the fact that i'm not there with her then that is my form of doing my best and i felt like i was so judged as a mother and as a human being in general and i feel like it's it's yes it's easy for you to cast judgment even though it's not right because you are not in my position and you don't understand at all what it feels like and it is heart-wrenching you know, and I, I really just felt so bad. Like last night I was so depressed and so anxious because of the whole thing. And I was just in a fucking funk, like down in the dumps, lower than a snake's belt buckle because like it was just awful. And I didn't like that. That may have been a little dramatic, but that is exactly how I feel. And I feel like as an adult, it's okay to say exactly how you feel to every other adult in your life and it be okay. Your feelings are your feelings and your feelings are valid, you know? Not me having anxiety, hoping that this goes over well and I worded everything right and she does not take it the wrong way. So, I have some meat that I bought. I'm going to season them and put them in the fridge in Ziploc bags from now. I can't find the scissors. I need this little marker. So we have some pork.
All right, so now that I'm done, we have four parcels of chicken, whether stew, curry, whatever, chicken, but chicken. And then we have two parcels of pork. And obviously when I make these, it's not gonna just be a one eat. We should be able to have seconds out of this and like meal prep out of this as well. So let's see how that works because this man eats like a construction worker. So, am I gonna cut that out? <laughs> No, actually, he does eat like a construction worker, I'm being honest. <laughs> so, because he eats like a construction worker, you gotta cook mad food, or it just doesn't last as long. I bought some sausage, I literally love Italian sausages. Shout out to my friend Rama Thai. she's the reason. She is the one who got me hooked on Italian sausages. One time she made sausages and pepper, and I literally could not stop eating the thing. Obviously, this is years later. I just bought some whichever part of the pork, only to realize that we have some pork shoulder in the fridge that I have bought. And we bought two cases of water. They had three for 10, so we bought, we bought three cases of water. And I already had a case of 40 underneath there. So we shouldn't need any water for now. Everything is nice and clean. I have to wash the dishes. I took some rice out here, but... gonna die before I can get through. All right, so while the rice cooks, the kitchen is clean and everything, I'm going to sit down and try to make this centerpiece that I bought a few items at the Dollar Tree to make for my kitchen table. But I feel like that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.